We've eliminated red eye literally with the click of a button. It's that easy. But there is another thing that can crop up, and that's yellow teeth. Now, years ago, that wasn't a problem until everybody wanted white teeth today. So we have all these products that we can put on our teeth to make them whiter. What about digital whiteness? I've got an image right here. Let's go ahead and open that up in Editor by right-clicking, Edit with Photoshop Elements. Okay. Now I'm going to make him a little bit bigger with my shortcut. And then I'm going to use the hand tool up here to bring that up like that. I want to whiten his teeth. Now we're in quick fix mode now, not guided. Quick fix. And you have a toothbrush over here, believe it or not, which is called the whiten teeth tool. If you select it and look at your options, you have these options over here for new selection, add to selection, or subtract from selection, and a brush size. And that's about the right size, probably for what we want. This is all about selection. That's all it is. It's saying, in a sense, where is the area I'm supposed to whiten, and then it does it automatically. So if we pick up this brush first, which is default, Get a brush size that's kind of small, don't make it too big. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use my, and here's the key, my left and right bracket keys. I love that feature to make the brush a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. I'm going to come over here and begin selecting. See how it's whitening them? Now, if you get too much, you can come over here, like down here, and pick up the remove, subtract. Get up here and just kind of wipe it over those areas and kind of put them back in. It's going to wait until you think you've got what you want. Say like about like that. Now if we remove the selection, easiest way to do that is with a control D, deselect. His teeth are a little bit wider. Let's do this. View, before and after vertical. And now let's make that bigger. You can see it's subtle but they are a little bit whiter. Now you want them whiter still, do it again. Come over here, make sure you have this one selected here. And go in there very carefully. Again, if you get too much like I'm doing, pick up subtract, very carefully brush over those areas. And if we deselect, see again, they're one more shade brighter. Now we could keep this up until it's literally white and we lose everything, all the detail. You don't want to go that far. That's why I like to see the before and the after to get an idea of exactly what's going on here. But every time you do it, basically it makes them a little bit whiter and a little bit whiter. Now when we get into expert mode in subsequent chapters, what I'm going to show you is another way to do that in a more guided way where you have a lot more control. But forget the part about control. This is working pretty good. You just keep applying it until you like what you see. As a matter of fact, if you want to get this detailed, you might just actually go into this one right here. Let's go ahead and minus some of that out. And just work on that one area. The toothbrush tool works great. Now, there used to be a slogan out there, a marketing slogan. You'll wonder where the yellow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsodent. It was a toothpaste. You'll wonder where the yellow went when you use this tool right here. Let's go ahead and close it. And again, you don't have to save it. Oh, well, there you go. You got problems with yellow teeth? No problem when you're in Adobe Photoshop Editor. On to the next.